Hi, everyone. How awesome is Tony Lima, my BFF, by the way? Today, I want to talk about something very important, something I'm very passionate about, and it's your bucket list. Um, while there's 7 billion people on the planet, there are really only three kinds of people. The people who make things happen, the people who watch things happen, and the people who wonder, what happened? <laughs> I'm so happy and so honored to be in a room with so many of you who are in the first category. Today, I want to encourage you to work on a list of things to accomplish before you kick the bucket. Life has an expiration date, but life is also beautiful. So, you know, there's a lot of things to do, and we should get to it, because the bucket list doesn't wait. How many people do you know have passed their time? If we stop to think about our own demise, we hope that we're so old we can't see the bucket. We hope that we've lived so thoroughly that we welcome it. But the bucket doesn't wait, like, as I said. You need a plan. Virtually every great thing that has ever happened happened as a result of a plan. Plans don't always work out, but they typically get us moving. We strategically plan our work. We make grocery and to-do lists. So shouldn't we have the same consideration with our own lives? Shouldn't we make a list for that too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there are seven days in a week, and someday isn't one of them. The day is today. So make your list and recruit your tribe. Start listing and enlisting. The easiest way to get your bucket list is to have moral support. So enlist your friends, your family, get people together, wild them up, and if you want to go skydiving together, it's a lot easier if you have a group and you do it together, right? So get that moral support, because our to-do list doesn't look like this right now. We so wished it looked like this. We have a lot to do, so it's best to have moral support, have people helping you, have your friends, have your family supporting you. One of my favorite personal websites for uh, bucket list is uh, 43things.com. This is actually um, 43things.com, the homepage. You can sign up. You can log in through Facebook. Here's some of mine. One of my uh, personal goals that I haven't checked off yet is uh, give $100 to a complete stranger. That's still pending. But, um, <laughs> but uh, 43things.com is great. It's also one of my favorite numbers. Use the gifts you have. You have so many gifts. And one of your greatest gifts is time. So use it to your advantage. You know, it's, time is, is not forever. And you're awesome. You're awesome. You're all awesome. Life is, it's, it's, don't go through the motions. It's very easy to go through the motions and, you know, lead them in day life and, and the routine. But, but don't. You're too awesome to, um, to not do what you really want to do, right? So be purposeful. Be purposeful with your time. If you want to do something with purpose, put it on your bucket list. Do you want to build a home for the homeless? Put it on your bucket list. Do you want to help someone raise money, a charity that you're part of and that you're proud of? Put it on your bucket list. But do things with purpose because today is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you'll ever be again. Right? <laughs> That's why the number one item on your bucket list and one that I live by every day, do what you love, do what you believe in. Life's too short, right? And the truth is, sometimes we just need to make ends meet. So we don't do things that we necessarily love. But you know what? If you look at the bright side of everything and make the best of the situation and highlight the best, then you can be happy. It's very easy to be happy. Happiness is a choice, something that my mother always says. And um, we just need to make that choice and... and See the bright side of out of everything, you know, look at the glass half full, not half empty. <laughs> and you know what? You can do anything, but you can't do everything. Let's be realistic. Life gets in the way. So just make sure that you have your list in priority, prioritize. That, that really does help you. Having a list really does help you prioritize your life and give a tangible sense to what your goals are. And it will also improve your perspective because... You never know. Time goes by, and you never know. Life is like a box of chocolates, as uh, you know, Forrest Gump says. <laughs> and since I'm making a pop culture reference, let's bring up the death of Princess Diana or uh, Donna Summer. The truth is, it makes us think of our own demise. You know, it makes us think of our our own internal time clock, and time is ticking. But life is short, and that doesn't mean that we don't have enough time. Thomas Edison said. If we did everything we, kept, we are capable of, we would astound ourselves. We have the capability to accomplish more. And like Jack Nicholson said in the movie, get busy living. The happiest people never stop wondering, discovering, creating, and laughing. 
And that's the real bucket list mentality. It's not just about crossing things off your bucket list, but actually having that bucket list mentality. Don't compromise what you truly want by setting limits. Seize every opportunity. Now, I'm seizing the opportunity right now, and as random as it seems, someone here has $100 under their seat because you just helped me cross off two things off my list. Speaking in public, which I hate, I hate this, but I'm doing it. You rock. Thank you.